down to the wire it goes in the Premier League. Of course, it's come down to the final race. What a title race it has been. Liverpool on one end, Manchester City in the blue corner. Don, um, I'm sure the nerves are with you. I can't imagine how you feel as a Liverpool supporter. It's not in your hands, but now you have to sort of rely on one of the club's greatest legends ever in Steven Gerrard. Well, yeah, I think that's that's why we are uh, the, the greatest uh, Liverpool supporters out there mm. um, is because we dare to dream and we dare to believe. Um, you know, and Steven Gerrard, uh, an iconic legend for us, um, taking us the Istanbul moments and could build himself a statue um, <laughs> if, if, if something... Uh, he the, could win his first Premier League with Liverpool, actually. <laughs> if unthinkable could be done, yeah. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that is that we, we've got to look at it. Um, mm. But the two teams that are, that, that are fighting and going down to the wire have, have really enthralled us um, mm. the, the, the season long, giving, yeah. us, giving us moments of highs and moments of lows um, and, and just showing why the Premier League is the greatest league in the, on the planet. Yeah, this is the moments that we live for and it, this weekend is going to be such an exciting story. I mean, mm. the stories sort of write themselves. Coutinho and Gerard against Liverpool. Jack Grealish could win it against yeah. um, Aston Villa, his former club, of course. Um, where you're not shy to mention that it cost 100 million. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's let's well, look at the positives. There's, al there's also a clause that Villa's got in that, in, mm -hmm. in that contract that if Grealish wins a Premier League um, this season, they get an extra 15 million. Well, that's so, the league settled then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, it, so, so it, gives, it, it gives a bit of cash flow for Steven yeah. Gerrard to obviously go out. And I mean, for a, a, a minnow club of Aston Villa, mm. with all due respect, yeah. um, 15, 15 million extra. That's a new left back for them. You know, so I'm saying that, that, that does, that, that does um, bode well for them. Um, I'm just a bit worried in terms of where the mental space is for Pep and the team, mm. um, because they have bottled things before um, Champions League against Real Madrid. Mm. Um, so if we if we look at those type of um, situation, the men and coming against the what I would deem the mental monsters, yeah. um, Liverpool have come back um, and and have won time yeah. and time again. Um, quite take, taking both domestic cups into in in, um, in, in uh, penalties. Yeah, I mean that's that just shows what what the teams mm. are like at the moment um in january liverpool was 14 points behind uh city that's crazy. and on the last day of the season they're one point behind that's crazy okay. um let's look at mentally you spoke about you know the mental freaks that liverpool are they rested almost the entire team and club i think i just saw a glimpse of him <laughs> on the touchline and still managed to get a point uh three all three points against southampton of course they they feed the team and in manchester city on the other hand had to sort of come back to sort of dig out a draw at uh, the London Stadium. So it's it's sort of not the best time to go into your final game off the back of a draw for Manchester City. And I think in the in, in the preparation for, for the final game of the season, um, after coming back from the London Stadium, they've got a lot of questions answered for yeah. themselves. Um, they, yes, West Ham were unbelievable um, and could have actually won that game, um, mm -hmm. uh, bar, barring a couple of, of, of great saves from, from Edison, the goalkeeper. Um, but I, th I think it comes back to their mental states in terms of the Champions League um, with, or, and how they lost against Real yeah. Madrid in that the final moments. That will be playing in their heads. Mm -hmm. Where from a Liverpool point of view, they'll be coming back off a, a, a confidence boost in yeah. um, hard fought win at St Mary's um, and and will we'll take that momentum. Mm -hmm. The fan the fan base are going to be are going to be a key factor for me. Um, I think. The, the the Liverpool fan base will never probably, give up, don't you? Have that yeah, shot? <laughs> never give up, and and, and will definitely be there from the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as getting getting the um, getting their team and getting behind the team. And if there's one fan base and one stadium that does do that and intimidate a a, a, a team, is definitely the the Anfield and the Cop. Yeah, of course you would say that. Um, but let's look at each fixture in isolation before we close. Liverpool against Wolves before we move on to Manchester City against Aston Villa. I, I think Liverpool, it's not an easy fixture for um, for, for anybody. Well, but it is at Anfield. It like is at Anfield, um, but it, but taking into account what what is there on offer, um, I think that we could play a combined 11, a world 11, and probably still put up a good fight. Mm. Um, so I... I'm, I'm very confident in bring on anyone basically yeah, uh, I'm very confident mm -hmm. in, in in terms of of, of the team uh, it will be a not an easy victory but it will be a hard fought mm -hmm. and an ensuring victory that 
that that that Liverpool will definitely win. The blue side of uh, Manchester. How I think the nerves. The yes, uh, the, it could go two twofold. Um, City could come out and 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 clean it up in in a, in a space of twenty minutes because they've mm. got that in their arsenal. Um, they can they can switch up um, at any given time and obviously um, score freely and. They could pr- win six now. Prior prior to prior to the two two draw, um, City won three games five nil five one. Okay, so they've got that in their arsenal and, and could wrap the game up in 20 minutes. Mm. We don't want that. Um, we want it to go down to the wire. Um, and I think that should Villas come out and, and rattle the cages and score an early goal, the pressure is more on City because mm. should they not win this title, they win nothing the whole season. Yeah. Liverpool have still got another two titles um, in, in the bag as well as a Champions League final to mm-hmm. look forward to. So I, I think that... The, the head space is, is, is the trick for me and I think that it's, it's, it's heavily in the Liverpool corner. Do you think Liverpool win the title? I think Liverpool will win the title. And that's on record. <laughs> and uh, we'll obviously get back to that conversation next week once everything is done in dust. And of course, uh, there are blue ribbons, in fact, on the Premier League trophy. But that's what uh, the thoughts of myself, Jason Agler and Don Vier, Don Mr. Value Bets Vier, that is. Uh, until next week, uh, Don, all Cheers. the best. Thanks. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 Rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah.